Hi, my name is Nick Anderson, and today I'm going to teach you how to comp tracks in Logic Pro X. If you don't know what comping tracks is, it basically means I've got multiple takes. Most of the time it's a vocal, and I want to splice those different takes together in a way that's going to sound natural, real, and so on. So, let's get right into it. I've got a track here from my group, Nick Anderson and the Skinny Lovers. It is called Last of the Free. Now... It's got a bunch of different vocals here. Let's take a look at just this section here quick. If rock and roll is dead and gone, then bag me up and carry you. Okay, so I've got a bunch of different vocals going on there. This is called Ian Harm. My drummer sang this part. And we did a bunch of different takes here. And I liked certain parts of each take. Um, this ending part, we just couldn't quite get it right, so we did a bunch of takes of it, and then there were certain parts I liked of each. So, if you don't know how to record multiple takes, I do have a video that explains how to do that as well. We're not going to cover that in this video, though. So, we've got our different takes here. We've got our drop-down arrow, so we're going to click that to look at what we've done here. Now, when I'm working with a section like this, I like to make it as big as possible so that I can see all the waveforms. Another thing that I like to do is click this button right here, which is going to make the waveforms even larger. Sometimes that's helpful, sometimes it's not. Um, we've got six takes here, and I wanted to use the first part of this take, and then we've got little parts that are going on here. So let's take a look at what we did. If rock and roll is dead and gone. Now, that sounds like one take. But let's listen to why it sounds like one take first. If rock and roll is dead and gone. Okay, so that was just fine. Um, but let's say I want it to be better, which I did. So I chose a few. There's spots in here where I'm going to choose to make my cuts. Let's say I want this part of take five because that was just magical. We have, to, we have to look and see where a good spot to combine takes is. Because when you start selecting other things, what the computer actually does, and you can see it up here, is it puts a crossfade in there automatically. It's a small one, but if you don't put those, if, if your comping tracks and those crossfades go in weird spots, things are going to start to sound weird. So... Let's see here. I've got this part right here that is kind of quieter in each take. Let's listen to just this take here in that part. If rock and roll. I'm listening to this portion right here. So <laughs> that part is going to be where there's less noticeable crossfading going on because not only is it less loud, you can see in the waveform, but it's similar in both spots. So I want to crossfade it there. If I want this portion, I want to crossfade it in those smaller sections so that it doesn't sound weird. And then I'm going to listen and make sure that the two parts go together and crossfade nicely. If rock, if rock, if rock, if... Yep, can't tell the difference there. Uh, it they, they blend into each other really nicely because I must have picked a good spot. Uh, between those sections. Now, if I picked here, I bet it's going to sound weird. If rock, if, if rock and roll. It's actually not so bad. If rock and roll. Yeah. And sometimes that'll happen. Let's try to find one that does sound weird. If rock and roll. There, you can hear that a little bit. If rock. If rock and roll. Yeah, you can kind of tell there. If rock and roll is. Yeah, here you, you can hear those. Uh, uh, uh. That's because I didn't choose good spots to do the crossfading in. You want to find these little spots here to change takes. Like that. Rock and roll is... Yep. Um, if I wanted to do here, I would probably choose right there. Is dead and gone. I didn't like how that sounded. Let's fix that. I'll go there. See how I'm picking where the note ends there? All right. Now, this could be dangerous because take six, where we started, we've got this big waveform here that transfers into this tiny one there. I am not a big fan of that. So that's where I'm like, okay, do I really need this part, or can I just take this whole section here? Will that sound more natural? 
is that in gone? Nope, I don't like that. I want this whole last note here. So let's try to figure it out. Dead and gone. That sounds okay. That sounds okay. Um. Dead and gone. That doesn't. See, that little lip there didn't sound good, so we're going to get rid of that. And gone. Now, I really like this part of the take, but I really like this as well. And there is that little lip there that I don't like. So the next thing we want to do is do some of our own editing on this. Once I've got all the parts that I want, and this next step is for you have the parts you want, but it still just sounds a little bit weird because of a little thing like that, we're going to go in and just fix it manually. So in order to do our own crossfading, I'm going to click there, go to Fade Tool, and now when we hold the Command button, it is going to turn into the Fade Tool. See that? But, excuse me, it doesn't turn into it down here, and that's because we've got these multiple takes. So we're going to click on the A here, and then we're going to Flatten, and that is going to put all of those takes together with the crossfades. If I want to put it together without those splices in there, I can do flatten and merge, and that'll create a whole new thing together there. But I want to see where those are, so I'm just going to do flatten. Okay, now I believe this is where we had our issue. Yeah, I didn't like this little thing there. I wanted it to end here and then go into the next one. So, easy peasy, I want to get rid of that part. I'm going to zoom in here so I can really see it. I can see exactly where that ends, and it's right there. Right there is where it ends. So, I want to click on that. Then I'm going to do Command-T to splice that. I want to get rid of that part. So, I'm going to click on it, delete it. But now, my crossfades are gone. So, I'm going to add them in. You could just watch my video on crossfades, and if you have, then you know how to do this part. Um, you could just drag across both, and now you've got a big old crossfade, which might sound okay. And gone. Yep, sounds okay. But now what I want, I want this one to crossfade down to nothing, and then I want this one to very quickly crossfade up. And gone. And gone. Yep, that's going to sound nicer. So, now that I've done all that editing, I've got that little flub out that was right there. You can look, there's that flub. It just doesn't quite match. And now it's done. Cool. All right, so that is how you comp tracks in Logic Pro X. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I am going to make a video about how to record multiple tracks in Logic Pro X. If you don't know how to do that, you can click here, and it will show you how. Otherwise, click here to see some of my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and all the other stuff all the YouTubers say. My name is Nick Anderson. You have a good day.